patrolling the mangroves, Nigeria's Delta Safe Task Force is on the hunt for illegal oil refineries. Their mission, in short, search and destroy. To protect oil and gas infrastructure, deter and prevent militancy, sea robbery, crude oil theft and any other forms of criminality. The 7,000 strong force is tracking the criminals who siphon off pipeline oil to distill and resell. It's a lucrative business with devastating consequences and not just for Nigeria's oil dependent economy. It has destroyed the whole environment. Commercial life in the creek might not be possible. Aquatic life is destroyed. Militant attacks six months ago caused oil production to plummet, triggering the country's first recession in years. The attacks have halted following government talks, but troops on the ground say the battle against the illegal refineries continues. The task force wants to stamp them out for good. Over time, we've been dismantling these refineries manually, and the the criminals come back to sustain these refineries within three days, one week. So, so one boogie crushes the materials and it's very, very cost effective for them to reactivate these refineries. Oil theft in Nigeria is a multi-billion dollar industry and it's not physical theft but endemic corruption that's at the root of the problem. The military too has been accused of dipping its hand into the pot of black gold.